opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. h3 takes control of the g4 square, allowing white to play b3 without getting the bishop attacked by ng4. Na6 develops the knight and controls the b4 and c5 squares. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is excellent. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. Master games. It is the last book move. Very precise. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. That's fine. It is good. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square getting it into the action. It is good. This overlooks a better way to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is good. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is excellent. This ignores a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This wins a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move takes back. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. This defends the attacked knight. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is good. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. 
it is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. That rook was free for the taking. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. That's fine. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. Placing a rook behind a passed pawn helps keep the pawn protected as it tries to promote. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White's end game precision was a cut above black.